Hi. I'm currently still working on the Metroidvania game I talked about before, and since then I've focused on adding enemies and boss battles, among other gameplay and visual improvements. I'm first going to show you the bosses I've made so far, and how I tried to make them genuinely interesting. The first boss I've made is called the Dragon, yeah, very creative. His whole deal is that he launches fireballs at the player in a somewhat irregular pattern, while bobbing up and down in a way that's difficult to hit. Because of the way he moves, the only way to hit him most of the time is to jump, or get much closer, both of which make you vulnerable. The challenge is in trying to position yourself in a way that you can hit him, but also counter incoming attacks. My goal when making a boss battle is to make it satisfyingly dynamic. Obviously there should be some kind of recognizable pattern to learn and apply, but the fight should never feel so formulaic that it's boring. In this case, the dragon clearly breathes fire at regular intervals, but every cycle is slightly earlier or later. You cannot know for certain when he will fire, but you do know that it'll take a couple seconds to do so. Sufficient order with just enough chaos. In combination with the body movement, which ensures that you must move slightly differently after each attack, the fight is always veiled in an air of uncertainty, even if it's ultimately winnable with enough focus. The other boss I've added is a computer that moves around the edge of the room shooting lasers at the player. When it's moving along the top side of the room, it shoots at a much higher rate because of its proximity to these batteries, I guess. It can also change directions after some time to throw the player off. In order to effectively fight this thing, you have to keep shooting at it while moving around to avoid the projectiles, and jumping over it when it approaches. Unlike the dragon, the computer can attack from all angles, and can get much closer than you want it to. This means that there are no truly safe spots in the room, and you need to make use of the full space to ensure your survival. There's also much more of a defensive element to this fight, since at any moment you'll have to jump over it, or run between a wall of lasers. Personally, I'm quite proud of these boss battles, because they turned out very well, especially given how fundamentally simple they are. Other than the bosses, I've also put a bit more effort into the normal enemies. Being this thing that waddles along the floor, this thing that gradually chases after the player, and this thing that moves around a block. Some of this work was done in the last update, but most of it is new. Additionally, whenever something takes damage, it now flashes in a bright red color. I've also updated the player's sprite, which now has more shading, and I've added some new decorations to make the background look a bit nicer. If you remember what the health bar looked like before, you can see that it's different now as well. The block sprite was changed, and this red bar was added underneath. The bar goes up whenever an enemy is killed, and when it's filled, one health block is recovered. Of course, small details are always being adjusted, but those are just the interesting ones. While I'm going to continue adding more enemies, obviously, the next big additions are probably going to be a map system and item collection. I'll be sure to update you later, but for now please let me know what you think of the project and what you would like to see in the future. And that's it for now. Bye.